lots of Canada Mayflowers coming up. They seem to love this area right underneath those pine saplings. The entire ground is covered with Canada Mayflowers here. So we've got rattlesnake plantain. And then this looks like dewberry coming up. There's still a few berries here on the partridge berries. So these are last year's fruits. So here we have some robin's plantain. Lots of violets. There's the yellow ones. Now these look to have heart-shaped leaves. So I think that's the woodland yellow violet. So we got some toothwort. That's the cutleaf toothwort. And here we've got some stir chickweed. So this is our native chickweed. It has much larger flowers than the non-native one. And today, an afternoon view of the landscape here. We can see a lot more trees now starting to leaf out. We've got the first trilliums in bloom. Got some lilies coming up. We've got some cohosh emerging here. The bloodroots are pretty much done blooming. So maybe the last of the bloodroots in bloom. This trillium just starting to bloom. And we've got some large flowered bellwort. You can tell by the yellow color of the flowers. There's a similar bellwort, the perfoliate bellwort, which has more cream colored flowers. And there's a sessile leaf bellwort, which is even smaller with white flowers. We got the first geranium in bloom. The golden ragwort is now nicely in bloom. Okay, some kind of buttercup, not sure which one. Oh, the meadow roost just starting to bloom. And here we've got a meadow root plant 
that looks to be a female. So these flowers have the pistils. So this is a pistillate or carpellate flower. And these will later give rise to the seeds after they have been pollinated. Here's another nice example of a male meadow brew. You can see these flowers have only stamens. So they make the pollen to fertilize the females. Yeah, the bloodroots are done blooming. They're making seed pots now. Lots of yellow violets here. These have the more heart-shaped leaves. So these are probably woodland yellow violets. If we look at these. Yeah, those leaves are heart-shaped. And the flowers often are on the same stalks as the leaves. Lots of maples along the trail here. The ones with the two leaves per plant, those are the ones that are going to bloom this year. And the ones that only have one leaf, those do not have flower buds. So if we look at these here, you see where they have two leaves. They have a bud in the leaf axle between the two leaves. So here we have some jack in the pulpits coming up. They have these trifoliate leaves, similar to trillium but quite different in the vein pattern. We've got the first jack in the pulpit. Little white violets. There's some jump seed.